Welcome to my channel. My name is Jordy. If you don't know me or if you had just forgotten because I've been gone for so long. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just can't. I just can't. I will have you know I've been working really hard on stuff for my face awards video. I think I'm gonna film it on Friday. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Hopefully it turns out good. That's all I have to say about that. If you haven't forgot about me because you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button so we can be friends. In this video, I tried out a whole bunch of new makeup. I tried some Stellar Cosmetics, the LH Cosmetics by Linda Halberg. New lashes, new eyeshadow, new everything. So if you'd like to see what I thought about all of these products, then keep watching. I'm gonna start with the Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. It actually has little flakes of gold in it. It's beautiful. And I have been using this, but I've never worn it under makeup because I haven't really been wearing any makeup. It smells so good. I've been really loving it just as a moisturizer. It's super, super hydrating. For primer, I'm going to use the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I've heard really good things about this, but I've never actually tried it. Feels really light and fluffy on my hands. This is an oil free primer. Ooh, actually feels a lot like my favorite primer, the Optical Illusion Primer by Urban Decay. Not quite as pore filling, but just as soft. For foundation, I'm going to be trying the Stellar Limitless Foundation. This is in the shade S01. And the packaging is so nice. Just going to pump some right onto my face. Oh my goodness, that is gonna go a long way. And I'm just buffing it out with my Furless Pro 4F brush. And it is looking really nice. Nice yellow undertone. Matches me pretty darn good. This is their lightest shade. So if you're any paler than I am, I don't have a shade for you yet. I would say this is about a medium coverage. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey. It's not clinging to any spots, which is my biggest problem with foundation. So far, I think I really like this foundation. It has a really nice finish. Still looks like skin. I'm gonna let you guys know how all of this wears in the comment section. I will pin it at the top, so look for it. And if I forget, remind me. So I have the Stellar Limitless Concealer in the shades S01 and S02, and I think that both of these are definitely going to be too dark for me. Right now, the brand is trying to cater to tricky medium skin tones and they will be expanding their line. But I think I'm gonna try this one anyways, just to see what the formula's like. And then I'll just throw some lighter concealer on top of it. Definitely too dark. I already knew it was gonna be too dark though. Ooh, but the formula's really nice. So most concealer, even shape tape, creases under my eye immediately as soon as I move my eyeball. This one is probably the least creasy of any concealer I've ever tried. So I will definitely be watching for my shade. It has a bit of an orangey undertone, so this is actually going to be really nice to color correct, and then I'm just going to throw my concealer on top. I probably could get away with wearing this shade of concealer if I was going for maybe a supernatural look, but I like to highlight. That formula is bomb. Now I'm just gonna go in and highlight with my shape tape in the shade fair. I'm going to set all of this with the Stellar Cosmic Face Powder in the shade Haze. I'm gonna try and set with it because it's like the brightest, slightly purple, color 
it could be my perfect setting powder. You never know if you don't try it. It has a poof in it. I don't like poofs. I don't know why I'm using this. Going in with the sponge. I definitely expected it to be more brightening. The finish is insanely soft. Oh my god. Use a brush on the side. I definitely prefer it applied with a brush over a sponge. I think because it's so finely milled. It smells really familiar and I cannot put my finger on what it smells like. It's driving me crazy. It smells like wax. It smells like beeswax, like the kind that you can like roll up and make your own candle. That is what this smells like. I figured it out. I don't think I'm crazy about that powder as a setting powder, but I'm going to try it again next time as like a finishing powder because it feels so freaking soft. Maybe I do like it. I'm undecided. I just wish that powders wouldn't take away the full coverageness of my makeup and also I wish they would brighten my makeup and sort of make it darker. <gasps> I still haven't found the perfect setting powder. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. To contour, I'm going to use the Infinity Palette by Linda Halberg and I'm so excited. I pretty much bought the palette for this shade, Cigar. I'm gonna go in with my Furless Pro 5F and Cigar from the Infinity Palette. It's perfect, I knew it was gonna be the perfect contour color. I knew it. I love it. I need to wipe the foundation off my lips, it's not a good look. It's a little bit better. I'm gonna dust some of that contour shade across my forehead. It's like that perfect gray toned contour shade, but not too gray that you look like a corpse, but not too warm that you look like an orange. Now I'm going to contour my nose using my Kat Von D concealer brush and the same cigar shade from the Infinity Palette. Ooh. I'm just drawing two parallel lines down the center of my nose. And then also under the tip. And then a little bit across there or there. And then on a smaller brush, I'm going to grab some Milky Way and I'm going to highlight the tip and down the center. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the Haze Stellar Powder and I'm just going to sort of bake the outer area of my nose to lighten those areas and make the contour more poppin'. I like so. I'm gonna use this palette for my brows too. I'm gonna use this darkest shade here that's called Fornax. My brows are a mess, I know. I have not plucked them in years, more so it seems. I'm just using an angled brush. And I'm just filling them in with little strokes. This shadow is so pigmented, I'm like dipping my brush in so gently. Look, I have a tail again. That's how long it's been since I've left my brows. I actually have some. I've actually been thoroughly enjoying having a tail so it takes less time to draw my brows in. Because I actually have something to follow. I don't think my brows are gonna look good no matter what I do because they are unkept. I don't have any brow gel, so I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. brow gel. I already love this palette because I will tell you why right now. I can bring only this palette and I have highlighters, blushes, contours, eyebrows, and eyeshadows. I love when palettes do a lot of things. It's a good palette. I will be right back with my other brow on. This eyebrow turned out better than this eyebrow for the first time in its life. And I'm so proud that I can't even be annoyed. I'm going to dust this powder off my nose 
And now I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to use the Shiki ColourPop palette in collaboration with I Love Sarai. I'm really excited. There it is. So pretty. First on a fluffy brush, I'm gonna grab Distress and dust it all over as a base. You guys know what's up. Then I'm gonna go in with Freckles. That is pigmented. And I'm just gonna blend that out in the crease. I don't wanna do anything super crazy today because I have shit to do. I just wanna kinda look summery and cute today. That's what I'm going for. I'm just gonna go in one more time to build up on that brown. And that's actually all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow right now. You know, I'm so boring, I'm sorry. But I am going to use the ColourPop collab lipstick called Mamacita as liner. Got some of that lipstick on the angled brush. And now I'm going to throw on a wing. That made such a pretty liner. Now with a smaller brush, I'm gonna grab some of this freckles shade. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of my lower lid. Just right there. And I'm also going to use freckles to make some freckles with this little liner brush. For lashes, I'm going to use these synthetic lashes from Nick Love. I'm not sure what these are called. I don't see a name on them, but they're really pretty. While the lash band is getting tacky, I'm going to put on some blush using the cutest brush ever. This is a Lisa Frank blush brush. It is from Glamour Dolls. I've never had a cuter brush. I want all of my brushes to be Lisa Frank. And for blush, I am going to use this pink crochet called Pinwheel from the Infinity Palette. I'm gonna put mascara on after I put these lashes on because I think I'm gonna to wanna to beef these up a little bit and I forgot, to be honest, I just forgot, but whatever. Oh, these are so pretty. And then while this one is getting tacky, I'm going to add some highlighter and I'm gonna use the Infinity Palette again. For my lips, I'm going to use ColourPop's Curvy from the collab and the Curvy Lip Pencil because I myself am quite curvy. I'm kind of blending out the liner since I'm just going to be putting gloss on that. So this is not a new mascara. I've actually been using this every single day. It's the only mascara I've been using, but I don't think I've used it on camera because I've been gone a while. This is the pure, fully charged mascara, and it is so good. I'm just gonna put this on my natural lashes and blend them right into the falsies, which I usually don't do because I don't really like to get mascara all over my falsies, but I forgot to put mascara on. Oh well. And a little bit on my bottom lashes. Let's recap on all the products I tried today, shall we? I really loved the NYX Angel Oil Primer. My skin looks pretty darn flawless. This felt really good. I will let you guys know in the comments how my makeup wears. Remind me if I forget. The Stellar Limitless Foundation in S01. I think this might become my new favorite foundation. I love it so far. I love how it applied. And if it wears well, then we have a winner. I think I will love the Stellar Concealer when my shade is available. The Cosmic Powder in Haze. I'm kind of on the fence. I love the way my skin looks right now. I just wish it did more brightening. I'm gonna try it as a finishing powder instead of as a setting powder, and maybe then I shall love it. The Infinity Palette by Linda Halberg. I think you guys know I love this palette. This palette is going to be a staple. This is gonna travel with me because it has everything in it. Love that contour shade. It has a highlight, it has eyeshadows, it's my brows. 
This palette is good shit. High five, Linda. I pretty much always love anything ColourPop puts out. I also love Karen, so this whole collab is fire. It's really good. I know I didn't use a ton of it, but I'm sure it's all good. I'm sure, I'm just sure. I love my new Lisa Frank brush from Glamour Dolls. So cute! These Nick Love lashes are gorgeous. I love them. I can't wait to try the other pairs they sent. Thank you. <laughs> is that all I did? Is that all I tried? It is. It is. That's it. That's all I did. I hope you guys liked this video and listening to me blab on about new products. Let me know if you want to see more first impressions. I had a lot of fun. The look turned out good. I'm quite happy with this face. I'll see you guys in the next video.